Hello, this is Robbie JVC. I'm going to try to be quick. So this is a compact 7500 monitor using a $15 cable, uh, VGA cable. I got for the Sega Dreamcast off Amazon. It's in the description. This has an error on this model along with another CRT which is next to me. But if you can't see it, right here there is like a smoke flame I thought my monitor was on fire but that is because of the cable somehow this that lighting you see right there is more that's I don't see that but I do see this very very clearly I'm gonna zoom in but we'll take Go check out some. See, you can still see it even on the, it makes it practically unusable because it's um, annoying. But there's something interesting I noticed about it. Let's zoom in. So you can see it right there. So we're gonna cut away now and we'll be back shortly. So now we're looking at another CRT monitor. This is a Dell. It has a long, um, I don't know what, I don't really know what the model number is. If it's what I'm looking at on the side, it's a long number. But this does not have that issue. We get nothing. It's crystal clear. It looks beautiful. Zoom out. We'll take a look at the startup. Yeah, no, I don't see anything on the left side. I'm really looking, but I don't I don't see anything. Um, in fact, I've been playing with this cable for a while now, um, for about maybe four days, and, and I, I have it. As soon as I did, um, as soon as I noticed with the next monitor, um, that because that the next monitor I'm going to show you is my main one, um, that that that's what led me to switch to the Dell. But so let's go on to that one. All right, so now we're looking at the main, my main modern, or my main monitor, the IBM E74. As you can see, uh, IBM up at the top. E74 maybe, I can't, my camera gooey. Oh, there's E74. You, no matter, you know, you could still see it. So, that's with the $15 black cable from Amazon. Let's give this a try, because this is what I got to fix this issue. All right, we're back at we're back at the Compaq 7500. We're using the white $20 Tomy VGA cables from Dreamcast. So, if you remember, this monitor is the one of the ones that had issue with the faint line. Well, we still get a line here. I don't know if it's as visible, uh, but there is. But also, I noticed sometimes some mean um,
ghosting of sorts. So let's check out the GD menu and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I just, I'm going to show you this and start up. It's, there's these bars it makes whenever there's something dark or something. It makes like a black, like a strip of lightness. It might be visible on the camera, but it's, it's visible too in person on this monitor. Like when I step back and look, uh, there, yeah, it looks good, kind of. The smoky line is lessened, but you still get bars. Let's switch over to the Dell monitor um, and see what that does. And that monitor is the one that works fine with the $15 one. So let's go switch over to that. We're back at the Dell. This is the monitor that worked with the $15 cable. This is with the Tomy. So I don't really see any of those same bars, but let's go to the GD menu to be sure. It looks good. I don't see any smoke. Uh, maybe it looks a little, um, it definitely looks better, but compared to the $15 cable, there is, uh, you still get the light bars. Let me explain. So I am in gameplay on that same Dell using the Tomy cable. And it looks good. Uh, that's a training stage. Okay. Now we're in a stage and it looks pretty good too. So... I don't know if it's the cable. I don't know if it's the spec of the Dreamcast and those two monitors. Um, it does not happen um, with any other VGA source. Let's check out on. Let's check this out on the IBM E74 because I don't have much time left before I'm all out of space. All right, so I'm seeing those same bars. Um, of light when stuff of high contrast moves on the screen. Let's do this. We got about 50 seconds left of storage because I should have erased stuff, but I'm trying to do this quickly. And those same bars are present. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it should not be like that. Uh, yeah, alright, so thanks for stopping by, and I recommend the $15 cables more than the Tomy branded ones.